There it is again. Our welcome message.
scanner. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. We're on the right track. Look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends. Object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. 
We need to cleanse it. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like that channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director.
You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. must open the door.
Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but... We can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an altered item would show up inside the U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Are you still recording this? Alberto Tomasi. All right, take this down. The head of comms. The hiss got him. The hotline can't be far now.
a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream.
It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench and, well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Ring, ring. It's Dr. Darling calling. In 1978, a comms department intern heard the hotline ring and picked it up, going against every safety protocol in the manual. She never recovered, and the handful of witnesses required extensive memory repression therapy. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well, our very own Ouija board. Only the director can answer it safely, and what he hears is kept classified.
It took us a long time to learn how to stabilize the control points, the ley lines, the meridians of the oldest house. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. It's my duty as the director, like Northmoor before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. I'll damn well do it here. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth, and no one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the fire breaks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling's right about that. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Has he been compromised? A director needs a team. My management team. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country, back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The Ocean View operates on dream logic and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places, and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel, the key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit, just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain 